Sup nerds, big day today. The Create T3 app team has been hard at work on the missing piece for Create T3 app in the T3 stack. The technology is incredible. The CLI is best in class. There is no better way to start your full stack type safe application. The work the T3 team has put in is unreal, both in the CLI and more importantly, the thing we're gonna to reveal today. I am so hyped to finally share the official Create T3 app docs. It has taken a long time for us to get here because we wanted these to be best in class. We wrote these in Astro. I shouldn't say we, I did basically nothing here but copy. The Create T3 team built what I consider to be some of the best documentation for any framework right now from scratch in Astro themselves. The result is awesome. It's a beautiful site that does a great job of breaking down why you would or wouldn't use Create T3 app and the value that you get from it. I have this little section where I went and redid all these descriptions here. Yes, obviously Astro. We even have a little tweet call out. So if you tweet and mention hashtag Create T3 app, you'll appear in here. Please don't abuse that too hard. But this is just the homepage. And as pretty as it is, the docs are the real value. The docs have a little blurb at the beginning about what this is and why. It's largely copied from the uh, read, or read me, but uh, we also have breakdowns of a lot of other things like details on folder structure and how the folders are broken down and a little bit of detail as to why and what these things do. One of the coolest sections is the TRPC section, which is, according to Alex, one of the best descriptions and ways to get started with TRPC right now. He was super impressed with this page. It is hilariously detailed. The amount of good info in this page is just absurd. I am so pumped at like there is no better way to start learning t3 stack and specifically trpc and as uh trash just mentioned shout out trash dev there's a bunch of videos like this littered in throughout the docs because we thought it was really important to call out the creators and the educators in the space who are making it so easy to adopt and learn these things like obviously me, I'm in a few of these, but I don't do a lot of tutorials. Other people do though, and those are in here as well. Like I know we just added True's talk in here. So True Narla's wonderful talk about building design systems with Tailwind has been snuck in here too. So there's a lot of talks littered throughout these to make it easier to, if you're a video learner, have those resources in line as well. And I, funny enough, I know a lot of effort was put in to making these uh, like, iframes responsive. The link is create.t3.gg. Yeah, huge props to Julius, Nex, CJ. I know Agora's contributed some amount as well, but like CJ, Nexel, and Julius have definitely been the ones who really led the charge on this. I wanna quickly make sure I get everyone because a lot of others have been working hard on it. Obviously I mentioned Igor, but uh, Gabriel's worked really hard on it. Who was contributing earlier today? I wanna to make sure I get all the people who at the very least I've talked to. Croucher's been all over the place and helping a ton as well. I'm gonna forget like a hundred people because there's another, probably my favorite announcement, honestly, about Create T3 app. We have 109 contributors to Create T3 app, which is absurd. This is so many people getting involved, helping and building around Create T3 app. Oh, it was uh, Dravia. He's been helping a ton too, but like every contributor here, uh, Ashish has been helping a ton as well. All hundred plus of you now, <laughs> insane. So proud, this is surreal. Like going to this website the first time and seeing the amount of work y'all have done with this silly little stack that I made a Pokemon video about a year ago now. And now we have this, it's so cool. It's so damn cool. Obviously this is open source too. It's in the repo, www. It's a fancy little Astro project. Really, really well done. It's one of the better Astro Docs sites that I've seen. We started with the Astro Docs template, but had to add a ton of shit to make it just right. I shouldn't, I need to stop saying we I should say they, because they did all of this. I was just sitting in the corner like, yeah, DocuSaurus is fine, but like Astro's technically the better thing for Docs. Like it's static. It should be static. And we did that. I still like DocuSource a lot. I've actually been using DocuSource more on other projects and I'm really impressed with it. But man, Astro for static sites is really hard to beat. And Astro on the static site feels really great. I can incog it quick so we can do everyone's favorite. See how we're doing. Straight 100s across the board. Except for a 96 on performance. What's it mad about here? Properly size images. I'll use passive listeners. It's just the next auth picture. That's hilarious. It's a WebP. Why the fuck does it care? It's a WebP. It's like, 
KB. It's like three KB at most. Can we change the logo? We're getting there, okay? We have we not ready to announce a new logo yet because we haven't decided, but there's a lot of work going on right now for a new logo. We'll get there. Anyways, <sighs> thank you all so much for the hard work on this. We're so close to 10K stars on GitHub. We're at 9.1K. Yeah. If for some reason you haven't already starred Create T3 app, please do. Run the CLI. Oh no, oh boy, are there more things? Oh, then start the app. Oh yes, yes, this I, I saw a little bit of. I'm excited for this actually. I haven't seen this personally. So, wow, it's stunning. That's beautiful. This is the new starter. So much prettier. Ah, oh, that is great. There's like a real brand here now, guys. I see you change the favicon back to Nexel. <laughs> it's a little ghost. I let him get away with that. I understand. It still looks great. This is a fantastic starting point. And then it just links straight to create T3. I love it. This is so cool. Two more announcements. Neither of these are super new for us, but a lot of people haven't seen it before. And I think both are important. One of them is that create T3 app is now using TRPC V10. We are very confident in the current state of TRPC V10, and we're really excited for the things it's going to enable. What is it going to enable though? Let's take a quick look. So if we have some code in a page, that is fetching from TRPC. This might look a lot like a normal use query, but this is backend code. So trpc.example.hello. Example is a router that we built for TRPC and hello is a procedure on that router. So if we wanna go take a look at the source code for this, all you have to do is right click, go to definition. And now we're here because TypeScript is smart enough to know the type of this backend code and then to strip out the backend code itself at compilation time so that we in dev have the exact type coming from here, have the exact response here. We're using greeting somewhere in this code. Hello.data.greeting. If I was to change this from greeting to message in the return, we'll immediately get read before I even save because this type is based on the return. And if I hover over here, message string is the response that it expects. We now get type safe results instantaneously. And TRPC's V10 performance is way better with TypeScript's compiler as well. And the result of all of this together is that, yeah, things just are way faster and your developer experience is way better. If you make changes, if you rename things, so I change this to hi, I immediately get a type error. And the experience you have developing is crazy as a result. Here's another dumb one. And I love this. I can right click uh, rename symbol, which is VS Code's feature that is smart enough to recognize where this symbol is being defined and called and rename it in all of those places. So if I rename this symbol to uh, message, it actually renamed in this file as well, because these are the same entity as far as the TypeScript compiler is concerned. So you can rename an endpoint and all of the places that are calling it. If I have an exact clone of this component, I'll name this one home, but worse and I rename this symbol to back to hello, it's going to change names in all of the places it's referenced automatically. If you were ever a vanilla JavaScript dev, the thought of renaming something is one of the most terrifying things in the world. Now it's not terrifying, now it's exciting. <laughs> now like it will handle it for you. If you have other things with the same name, it doesn't matter because it's not this symbol. Ah, magic. <laughs> it's just so cool. The future is bright and very exciting. We have really cool stuff here. One more thing I did want to show though, because it's been getting a lot more love and an ask we've been getting a lot is, what about mobile? What about Expo? What about mono repos that have all of these things? Julius in particular has been working really hard here and I'm so impressed with what he's made. And I've actually started using this in some projects at Ping. Create T3 Turbo is a turbo mono repo. It uses the same TRPC backend and React client in both a mobile app and a web app with Next deploying the back end in the front end for the web app and then Expo doing the or for the mobile app. The only missing piece is auth because Next auth on mobile is not quite there yet. We're figuring out some tricks there. Once that piece is in, this will be just as good as create T3 app for starting, but you get a mobile app included as well. I'm using this more and more lately. I actually dropped the Expo package because we're not shipping a mobile app, but having the pieces separated this way so I can add additional parts into a mono repo has been super valuable. I'm liking it a lot. I highly recommend y'all check out create T3 Turbo, even if you don't plan on using it, just to see what it looks like to start breaking up this architecture and taking the T3 app pieces and separating them into individual packages. 
This is the way to mono repo with this tech. And even if you don't use it directly, you can learn a lot from it. Even the turbo repo team themselves have referenced this directly in the writing of their documentation because of how hard it was for turbo repo to get Prisma working even. And we have done some awesome things here to make Prisma work. Super cool stuff. The three big announcements are the new docs, create.t3.gg, TRPC v10, which is just a massive overhaul in the developer experience around TRPC, and turbo repo support with create t3 turbo so that you can have a mono repo with mobile and web and all of your pieces split up. The T3 ecosystem is in an incredible state right now. I'm really proud of the community and all the awesome things they've been doing. Huge shout out to Julius, huge shout out to Nexel, huge shout out to CJE and everyone else for their involvement in all of this hard work. We're not just a place to ship post anymore. We're actually changing how web development is done. And man, the stuff y'all are doing is incredible. I, I, that, yeah. <laughs> this is just so cool. I, I'll never forget the first time I opened that silly website and saw how crazy the work y'all had done was. It's surreal to see. This is the framework I needed like four years ago. And this is the stack that I've wanted my whole life. And we're there now. And I'm so pumped. Keep up the hard work, y'all. If you haven't started these projects on GitHub, please do it. I'm not gonna shill my channel the normal way because this isn't a normal video. This one's for the community. Y'all killed it. Keep building cool things and keep sharing the cool stuff you built. Appreciate y'all a lot. Thank you, sincerely. Peace.